Welcome back to the Short PLC Videos channel. Today I'm going to show you uh, what I'm working on here with this Automation Direct EA9 uh, HMI. And what I'm doing is um, I'm coming up with a method to transfer a value out of a Modicon PLC over Modbus into the HMI and then from the HMI into an Allen Bradley PLC over Ethernet. So I uh, wanted to show you real quick how to do it, what I'm doing to make it work, and um, just the basic plumbing. So you can go from here once I just show you what I'm doing. You'll probably come up with something interesting and better perhaps. So here I'm just going to show you real quick how to do it. Okay, real quick here, what I have done is gone up to database event manager database I've created a new event so when you hit add you'll see an event and what I did was it's a tag based event not either of the other options and what I'm doing is I don't want an alarm delete the alarm and add a tag copy now you'll see I have a source and destination tag so let me show you the tag I, I did. So those are the steps I got to. I'm copying this tag, which, as you can see from the overlay, is 40022 out of my PLC, my modicon. And I'm putting it into a tag in the Allen Bradley, an integer, called modicon message number. Now, the trigger for this event to occur is Alan Bradley <clears throat> PLC out one six, which is local tag. Uh, it's a it's a real output that I'm I have in the logic of the PLC. And what I have is I have a half second um, on half second off toggle going on. So every one second, this bit goes high. It does not work while this is high. It goes from the off to on state is when this event is triggered. So it's not something you can just use an always on. If I used always on, I'd only ever get a one. Um, I'd only get one instance of this event happening. But by doing a every second, basically a off to on transition, I'm getting it to happen every time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you on my phone. Um, it's always great quality when I show my when I use my phone to record a computer screen. But I'm just going to show you um, kind of how this is working and it's pretty much what you'd expect. But uh, this is how you set it up. You have a trigger up here and it's the on state event that's going to cause it to happen. And then I'm copying source tag to destination tag inside of the uh, Seymour. Now, you have you have a tag database, so you have to have the two tags already in it, and what they are, you know, what they actually are. So here you can see address boolean local one, and I have put the actual tag for the output in my uh, Alan Bradley into this right here. So you can see it right here. So, and you would normally just probably use an, an internal tag, but I'm kind of reusing some logic that's already in there just to make my life a little bit easier. And uh, I'm going to show you, I'm not going to make any changes. I'm going to show you how this is working uh, on, my, on my phone. Okay, as promised, here we are cycling through some faults. Um, this is set up to just basically increment the fault pointer and uh, just to show them on this on this uh, HMI. So when I got to when I go to the real machine out in the plant and I get an actual fault, it'll show up. Now here you see um, we're getting into some higher faults. So there's 312, there's 313, 14. Oh boy, we're gonna be on here a while. But if you go over here, you'll see there 317, 318, 319, 
320. If I come over here, um, this is gonna be a, once we get through, I think 13 on this, we have 13 hoppers. It should go, it should come up to a point where we're just doing a lot of blank faults. Come on, baby. Three more, two more. I think there might be outlets after this, I don't remember. Uh, well, hang on, here we go. There, 338, 339, 340. See, it is working. But it's only because I'm doing um, one second uh, timer here, basically, to create the uh, pulse on the trigger. So that local out data six is my trigger. And every time that it goes high is when we actually um, kick off the event manager in the, in the automation direct HMI to do this tag copy. So that is kind of the basic way to do this. And that's all I got for you guys. See you next time.